dreams and visions for a lot of you that is exciting topic for some of you it's a confusing topic uh, how do we even start to discern between our thought our dreams and nightmares that's from our own thoughts or what God has given us that has supernatural meaning and a message from God uh, yeah this is a interesting topic and I'm by no means an expert and I'm sure I can do a whole course just on um, dreams but uh, to give you a few tips that I've things that I've learned from personal experience from friends who are skilled in um, in this so in um, this is episode number nine and we see that even when it comes to what Joel, Joel uh, spoke about the last days God pouring out his spirit on all flesh and it speaks about old men dreaming dreams and uh, the, the, um, that is quoted on, a, at, at the day, on the day of Pentecost. Peter saying that's what's happening. God's pouring out his spirit. And what comes from it are gifts of the spirit like dreams, visions, um, prophecy. And it's for all the saints and everyone that get full to the spirit, that turn to Jesus and get full to the spirit. So the um, dreams should be, I believe, in a fairly normal part of uh, every believer's life we do have some people that's dreamers that just dream often but um i i also think again it's a case of uh that god often speaks to us in dreams but we maybe do not stop and listen and consider uh dreams specifically clearly in scripture requires interpretation so uh, maybe you could have a dream uh we i've had dreams we uh maybe a person I don't know, an angel, uh, a person would come up to me and say, you know, this and that is going to happen. Um, and it's a predictive thing. And when it happens, I know God has spoken, but I'm not all that sure beforehand. Uh, with a dream like that, if I suspect that it wasn't just my imagination, it didn't seem to come from any conversation I had that day or anything I read or watched, I would say, um, Lord, what must I do with that? You know, what must I do with that? And sometimes it's to share with other people. Sometimes it's a personal thing God wants to do in me. Um, and sometimes he wants me to, for other people to minister to me in that area. So I think it's safe to say that our first question should be, uh, Lord, is there something you want to speak to me personally in this dream? Because often we can jump and think it's maybe for the church or it's maybe for someone else. But to first ask, Lord, is it for me? And uh, to ask the Lord for an interpretation of that dream. And sometimes we can't shake it. Sometimes the situation doesn't come. And then I would recommend that you ask some friends to pray into it for you. Um, and especially prophetic friends. And ask um, for feedback on it. But still in the end, you had the dream. You should, even with the help of others, should be the one that has an interpretation. And um, I, I often think when it comes to hearing God's voice and the prophetic, I often think about that scripture that says we have not because we ask not. And if we seek, we'll find. And if we knock, the door will be opened. And concerning hearing God for ourselves, I think it's, it's often a case of we have not because we ask not. And also the good thing, like I said before, is if we ask, we expect. And in expectation, there is something of faith, isn't there? So... I had an incredibly vivid dream um, one night that was quite dramatic and, and, it's, and, and miraculous in its outcome. And that specific night, I read a book about uh, um, a very godly woman that um, shared some thoughts on dreams. And it set up a real desire in my heart for God to speak to me in that way. And it has happened before, but it wasn't, uh, I would say, a way that God regularly spoke to me and it was definitely not a way I expected him to speak to me. And that night I said, Lord, please give me a significant dream. And he really did. And I wish I can remember to ask that every night because our lives are so busy and all of us need sleep. I need quite a bit of it. And uh, if only I remember to always ask God to speak to me in my dreams, whether it's to just bring a revelation of him, whether it's to warn me about something, whether it's um, something that um, he wants to touch on in my life that I need to repent of. It's such a wonderful opportunity when our analytical Western way of thinking is quiet because we are asleep 
and um, it's not that easy for us to say but 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 what about this and start analyzing in our dreams I had a um, dream the one time and, and especially when it's recurring dreams I think it's worth taking to the Lord this is another this is another um, sorry that's a neighbor waving and um, this is another exercise where we uh, can actually have quite um, uh, with dreaming is another subject that we can have quite negative thoughts about or uh, concerning you know if you google it oh my goodness dream interpretation whatever you can get very unbiblical things new agey things uh eastern religion things so be careful and always ask for biblical biblical stuff you know when if you google the subject but um there are uh, a lot of resources in terms of biblical symbolism um, common symbolism in dreams but even that do not take a dream that God's given you and walk away from God and go and try and figure it out for yourself bring it before him and with him start praying about the interpretation look at the symbolism etc uh the what did I want to say about dreams oh um yeah so for me the first thing is ask God ask God and I had a dream the one time we a recurring dream where I got very very angry at a person and I I shouted at them and I spoke in a way that I don't think I've ever spoken to any human being um you know in a dream you can sometimes think you act out of character but I realized Maybe I won't act like that, but in my heart, there's something of this anger and this frustration. So I asked the Lord, I said to the Lord, is there anything in my heart that's wrong towards this person? Because it's definitely, I don't know about anything consciously. And um, yeah, the Lord started showing me that there were areas of unforgiveness from many years ago. Um, and even, you know, the, the love believes the best and even areas where I didn't believe the best of this person and uh, that God wanted to take, um, restore that relationship and make it the way you would want it to be. And, uh, and it's going to, it would require forgiveness and not, I didn't feel at that point I needed to say anything to the person, but I needed to process it. And I asked a friend that's a, like a spiritual mother figure in my life um, to help me process that and pray for me and, and help me do it properly. And I, I, what, I, what I value about dreams so much um, and God using them in our lives is that in the daylight hours, we can make excuses for ourselves. We can say, no, I have a perfect relationship with that person. No, I don't have any unforgiveness. But if it keeps surfacing in a dream, it's almost like the Lord is showing you what's going on deep down in your soul. And you can process it and bring it out and find um, forgiveness and healing. And yeah, it, could, it changed, definitely changed my attitude towards that person. And it changed my relationship with them so much without me saying anything to them about what God did in my heart. Uh, so can we do that tonight? Can you dare ask God to give you a dream? And again, I want to go on those three things. Ask God to give you a dream that will bring a revelation of something about who he is. A dream that will speak of who he is. And remember, you might have a dream about your dad. <laughs> And a wonderful memory of you and your dad or something you and your dad do together. And when you pray for the interpretation, it might be that God wants to speak to you uh, about your view of your leaders, like your, your spiritual fathers. Or maybe he wants to um, bring healing um, in your heart concerning his father heart for you. And he's the view that you have to him uh, um, as a father. So a revelation of something about him and all something he wants to do inside of you that would be good that would be him doing something inside of you healing maybe a picture of father god that's distorted maybe you need to forgive um your earthly father or father figures who knows ask him and a third one would be um lord what do you want to do through me so again lord show me part of yourself what do you want to do in me what do you want to do through me and maybe he wants you um, to be a father figure in someone else's life. Maybe he wants you just to go and bless your 
earthly father or maybe go and thank your spiritual father who knows but yeah ask him those three things about the dream but trust him for a dream for tonight or tomorrow night or the night after but ask and wait <laughs>